How many brothers is it that claim they live right? Forgiving brothers like the way of Christ. How many brothers is it that steady move wrong? Correct them brothers and reprove them like forgive and let go. Read scripture some more. Forgive and let go. That's the way of Christ. Forgive and let go. Read scripture some more. Forgive and let go. That's how you live right. Forgive and let go. So it's like, look, we came over here together. Look, the men, women, and children, we came over here together, chained together. Who taught us separation? It wasn't us. These other nations taught us divide and conquer. That's why if you on Section 8, you can't have a man in the house. Or you lose your Section 8. That's why you got weak women, infant, and child. Where the father at? They trying to take the black man out the picture. Teach your right? people! By the way, whereof I spake unto thee, thou shalt see it no more again. Hey, you ain't gonna see your homeland no more again. We are from Jerusalem. Right. Right. We the chosen people of God. These That's people over there, they ain't the real Jews. That's the real right. Jews are being oppressed. Right. We being beat down. We being shot down in the middle of the street. Bring it out! These are God's people. Bring it out! But it's time that we wake up and repent and come back to the fold. Read. That's right. Thou shalt see it no more again. And there ye shall be sold. It says there, right? There. Once we got off these slave ships, like we just showed you earlier, it says there, once we got off these slave ships, we shall be sold to who? To your enemy. God did not say uh, us being sold to the other nations that they're going to be our friends. He didn't say that. We reading the words of God. Don't be mad at us. Right. The prophets out here in purple. Be mad at God's word. Like he said, God, like he said, am I, the in am I your enemy because I tell you the truth? Read up. Unto your enemies. He said, unto your enemies, Miss Lisa. Read. For bond men and bond women. It says for slave men and slave women. Read. And no man shall buy you. Meaning no man shall redeem you. Y'all can put them signs that I mean no man shall redeem you. Malcolm X tried. Marcus Garvey tried. Right. Uh, Martin Luther King tried. Barack Obama, he didn't try. He just same-sex marriage and all that stuff, crap. No. But look, so you said about the name. Give me Isaiah 9. And then after that, I want Revelation 19, 13. That's it, Amy. No. Revelation 19, 13, right? Uh, give me that. Isaiah 9 and 6. Because people might say, because look, Abraham and them, they didn't know them by certain names. They knew them by Jehovah. Right. I am that I am. He have different titles. Read. Isaiah chapter 9 and verse 6. Bring it up. For unto us a child is born. Unto us a son is given. And the government shall be upon his shoulder. What? When Christ come back, the government gonna be upon him. That's right. All the orders and the structures gonna come from Christ. He gonna right. run the earth. That's right. right now, you got the so-called Caucasian race running the earth. Right. And that's why all this injustice is going on. That's right. right. And his name shall be called Wonderful. His his what? His name. His what? His name. His name shall be called Wonderful. Oh, his name should be called Wonderful. What else? Counselor. Counselor? The mighty God. The mighty God? The everlasting Father. The everlasting Father? The Prince of Peace. The Prince of Peace? Oh, peace. peace. Give me Revelation 19, 13. He got all these names. That's right. But guess what? If you know the name and you ain't keeping the commandments, what that gonna do? Right. Teach it's about action. People. It ain't about what you say. It's about right. action. Right. Right. Not getting on you, just edifying you. Whoever the person that told you, they be like, hey, no, it's about keeping the commandments. You know, the police shoot us, the police, the police shoot us down, we be like, yeah, how was y'all, yeah, how was y'all? They still right. gonna, what they gonna do? They gonna be like, shut up, nigga. Come on. Revelation chapter 19, verse 13. And he was clothed with a vesture dipped in blood. And his name is called. His, his what? And his name. And his name, here go that name again. Is called the Word of God. His That's name is right. called the Word of God. That's right. That's right. Now, let's get some names. Give me, give me, give me, uh, number 1538. That's I'm about to show you how you show that you know the name of God. These people saying they know the name and they got the name of God. Watch this. This is how you know you know the name. The book of Numbers, chapter 15 and verse 38. Bring it up. Speak unto the children of Israel. For one, he says, speak unto these specific group of people. Look at it on this sign. He says, speak unto these people. Read on. Read it again. Read it again. Speak unto the children of Israel. God says, speak unto the children of Israel. That's, That's what he said. Right. He ain't saying, speak to the Asian man. Speak to the African man. The Caucasian man. 
the Earl, man. He said, speak to the children of Israel. That's his people. Right. And beat them that they make them fringes in the borders of their garments. So he said, I want you to command them that they make fringes in the borders of their garment. Bring it out. So in Revelation 19, 13, it says, his name is the word of God, right? That's what we read. So now in the words of God, it says, do what? Put fringes. Everybody got fringes on the borders of their garment. We got to get it. You got you know how to sew, Miss Lisa? See, you know, we need older women like you to teach the young women. That's you know how to sew? Right. You know how to cook, don't you? You can throw down. See, that's what I'm saying. Bring it up. You got to be able to teach the young. These 20-year-olds, what they call them, new millennials, they only know how to do is cook hot pockets. Right. Teach, huh? Get a damn entree with some hot pockets and hot fries. Talk about dinner ready. The hell is this? Miss Lisa, you know, God wants you to repent and come back to the phone so you can teach the youth. That's the right. young women how to serve them and how to cook good. That's right. You know, they don't make them, they don't make them like that no more. That's right. right. That they make them fringes in the borders of their garments. How you doing, sis? You alright? Throughout their generation. So I said throughout their generation. That's forever. So we read out the King James Version Bible. We're teaching that the blacks, Hispanics, and Native Indians, they are the chosen people of God. We're trying to restore to our community. All right, all right. Yeah. What's going on with you? You listening? Okay, all praises, all praises. All right, where were you at? 38. That was it on that? All right. And that they put upon the bridge of the borders a ribbon of blue. So everybody got a border of blue on the ribbons. So people might be like, hey, I got some curtains on y'all damn shirts. You know, no, hey, that's what the most I commanded us to do. But we make it fashionable. You know, our wives, my wife, she wore a dress, you know, with the fringes on a dress or sometimes on a jacket. Come on. Verse 39. And it shall be unto you for a friend that you may look upon it and remember all the commandments of the Lord. Now give me first, give me first John four, uh, what's that, 14, 15. Give me that. I'm about to show you something real quick. Bring John out. chapter 14, verse 15. If ye love me, keep my commandments. So what did the Bible say? He said, if you love me, you're going to keep the commandments. You're going to put the fringes on. But I don't want y'all to run. I'm about to bring out something. You might not like it. Bring it but out. we're going to bring it out to the Bible. Give me through the Romans 22 and 5. Bring it out. Bring it out. He said, if you love me, keep the commandments. So guess what? If you don't, if you want to hate God, what would you do? You're going to oh, right. You're going to disobey God. Right. That's what you gonna do. So now let's see what let let's see what this Bible is talking about. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter twenty-two, verse five. Bring it out. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. Me. Neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. What's a woman's garment? Right. Uh, under clothes. What's a woman's garment? So, all right. So, but if a dude walk past in a dress, is that a woman's clothing? So can men wear dresses? <laughs> oh my God! They want to, I, I mean, according no. to God, no. you can't you can't wear they can't wear dresses. That's right. So we understand that a woman's garment is like you know the underclothes, the 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 dresses, the skirts, the tights, these skinny pants that everybody be wearing, showing off days. Oh man, we, that's a whole other story. But come on. Yeah. <laughs> The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. What is a man? What, what pertains to a man? Pants. Man, get his sister a hand clap, man. See? Oh, see, your younger sisters don't know that. Your younger sisters don't know that stuff. Because you remember back then, grandma or, or grandpa come in the house, I wore the pants in the house. You know? This saying was true. The pants that came out doing uh what what uh 19 in the 1950s and stuff like that when the women's rights were moving saying look we equal to the man right like god ain't no misogynistic type of guy to say woman you bow down be a servant no he said he had we have our specific roles the man has to provide for the woman respect the woman and love the woman as he love himself so guess what if i love my wife you know am i gonna beat on my wife if i love her no would i beat on myself hell no so I'm going to provide for you. And then in the same way that the man out here working and providing, you're going to show him respect too. That's and, right. you know, understand the order, cook. If you want to get a job, get a job. But who, what woman wants to work? Bring it out. You sit at home, decorate, cook good food, look good, you know. Don't have the, don't have the jobs out here worrying you out. You know, no, no man don't want no, no hard, no hard, strong, yeah, woman. We want them soft and cuddly. We we hard. 
That's right. You know, God want to get us back to them roads. That's right. That's why, that's why we out here trying to restore the decay of the state in our community. Right. You know, give me 2 Corinthians 11. God made that order, but it takes the man to stand up too. The man can't be no bum sitting at home living off the woman. That's right. Hell no. God ain't like that. And they talking about they're God. Bring it out. We only God. Yeah. You, like you say, you ain't going for it. You got to get out. <laughs> that's right. Read what you got. First Corinthians chapter 11 and verse 3. But I will have you know that the head of every man is Christ. So the head of every man is Christ. Right. Read off. And the head of the woman is the man. So the head of the woman is the man. God is giving you this divine order. And the head of Christ is God. The head of Christ is God. So you have God, Christ, man, woman, children. That's how, that's how it works. The woman, because guess what? The kids, who is the first teacher to the children? Bring it the mother. The mother is the first, like the scripture says, Sarah, I don't know what that said, where he said he gave authority to, over the son to the mother. Because it's the order. So God teach Christ, Christ teach the man, the man teach the woman, the woman teach the kids. That's, that's, that's right. the order. That's how it goes. What you got? What's, what's going on with you, bro? You know your nationality according to the Bible? Yeah. What you, what, what's your nationality? I'm believing with Israelite. Alright, all praise, all praise. Alright. Where you at? Where you at? Where you at? Where? What a son. Where? Bring it out. No, it ain't it. Sorry about that. Hi, right, I got any questions. You got more questions? We already addressed the name. You got some questions about the Bible? What color is Christ? Christ is a black man. That's right! Christ is black. Christ is black. All praises. All praises to the Most High. All right. Do you know the pro you know what color King Solomon was? Let's see what the Bible. The Bible talks about that. Teen. Give me, give me Song of Solomon one and five. We're about to show y'all something. We're about to show y'all something, man. Hey, how you know that you're Israel, bro? I did some time in, uh, when I was locked up by. Stuff and somebody told you, okay, okay, okay. What must Israelites do? Uh, what must Israelites do? Us as Israelites. I'm about to show you something. Give me Deuteronomy 10 and 12 real quick. Break it out. So it's going to be edifying for all y'all. Read it. The book of Deuteronomy chapter 10 and verse 12. Break it out. And now, Israel, what does the Lord God require of thee? So God is sitting saying, you know that you're an Israelite. What are you require though? Are you knowing that? Read on. But to fear the Lord thy God, to walk in all his ways, and to love him, and to serve the Lord thy God with all thy heart, and with all thy soul. That's right. saying to serve God and fear him and keep the commandments of God. Give me uh give me Exodus 20 and 4. What's that 20 and 8? The Sabbath. You know what y'all today is the Sabbath day. You can't buy, cook, work, or sell. But see, but people might think I ain't with that Bible stuff. They some Christians, brothers is soft and stuff like that. A real man stand up and take back his community. Right. A real man look look the police in the face and say, look, I'm tired of you shooting down my people in the streets. That's right. But guess what? You know why we scared to talk to the police and stuff? Because we got backgrounds, we got warrants, we got this. We ain't taking care of our business. It's men. Read on. Exodus chapter 20 and verse 8. Bring it up. Remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. God said, remember the Sabbath day and keep it holy. Read. Six days shall thou labor and do all thy work. But the seventh day is the Sabbath of the Lord thy God. In it thou shalt not do any work. Thou, nor thy son, nor thy daughter, nor thy manservant, nor thy maidservant, nor thy cattle, nor thy stranger that is within thy gates. So he said, look, six days you can work, but a seven day sit down, have rest. Oh, right. Sit at home, you know what I mean? Congregate, give me Leviticus 23. We gotta congregate. We gotta come together. Hold that gets and I too. God wants us to come together in one mind and one judgment, one body, one spirit. He right, right. don't want us to come with different doctrines. You don't want us doing that. Read it, read that. Zephaniah 2 and 1. The book of Zephaniah. Chapter 2 and verse 1. Bring it out. Gather yourselves together. Yea, gather together, O nation not desired. He said, gather together, O nation not desired. They don't desire us as a nation. They don't desire, look at this sign. They don't desire all these people to come together. Right. Blacks. 
Hispanics, Puerto Ricans, Cubans, Dominicans, we all one family. That's right. Well, guess what? We think we're different because we was all talking about different people and we speak a different language. There's a language barrier. But if that language barrier wasn't there, we didn't know. Like, we all the same people. God made the world for me and you. That's right. These are our streets. Right. That's right. But they took it from us. They stole it from us. Read. As for the other people, the other people that's not on this sign, which also come of Adam, they always came from Adam. Because somebody say, man, everybody came from Adam. He said, yeah, they came from Adam too. Thou hast said that they are nothing. What did Joshua God say? Like they are nothing. That's right. Joshua 6. They are nothing. They are nothing. That's what God said. But he said the Israelites are special. We holy. But the other people, they nothing. Yeah, all right, read it. Titus chapter 2 and verse 5. To be discreet. Verse 4, excuse me. Verse 3. The aged woman likewise, that they be in behavior as becometh holiness. So he said the aged woman be in behavior that becoming a holiness. Read on. Not false accusers. Not giving too much wine. He said don't be out here getting drunk. Read on. Teachers of good things. Teachers of good things. The good things is the laws of God according to Romans chapter 7 verse 12. Read on. Right. That they may teach the young women. But teach our young women out here. Read. To be sober. To be sober. Meaning what? Be clean minded. Be focused. No, if, if you talk to a young woman that's 18, 19, they should be like, okay, what are you doing with your life? They should have a goal or a mindset of where they headed. To be sober. Be clear minded. To be sober. Don't be... uh drinking out here. Be sober. Don't be out here smoking weed. Read on. Yeah. Pop and peel. To love their husbands. See? In order for you to teach a young woman to love your husband, you gotta be married. You gotta be able to love your husband. and gotta be married. They gotta see that structure in the household. Right. But we know we, 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 we come from a broken family. The black community is broken. It's destroyed. Right. So it's gonna take work. It's going to take work and time and repetition to restore the black community back to where it was at. You know, some of, some of our sisters might, it's sad to say, some of our sisters might pass away not being married. Some of our men might pass away not being married, but our job is to target the next generation. Because guess what? The TV is getting our next generation. The internet is getting our next generation. So we, our job is to get to the minds of our youth before the media does. Because once the media gets to them, it's, it's a wrap. It's, 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 they don't want to listen. To love their children, to be discreet. You the Bible, the Bible has to teach the woman to love their children, because all women don't love their children. Y'all can attest to that. They don't. They just throw them out in the streets, or they just go to the club, leave them at the house by themselves, right. turn up the house and stuff. You said what you say? Yeah, go to the club with them. Right. Go to the club, baby. <laughs> <laughs> You're right, read. That's, they don't care. They getting drunk, smoking weed, and breastfeed. Come on. To be discreet, chaste, keepers at home, good, obedient to their husbands, that the word of God be not blasphemed. Say what? If you don't do these things, the word of God becomes blasphemed. Right. Somebody look at you like, no, she ain't no woman of God. Because guess what? She coming in the house, or the, the man coming in the house, nigga this, nigga that. You know, the, the scriptures talk about a woman is full of anger. The woman is full of anger if she maintains her husband. So I understand if a woman, she's sitting here paying all the bills, you living in her house, you just a couch potato, yeah, you're going to be angry. But you shouldn't be with no man like that. God said y'all are special. Right. Y'all created the author of beauty. Everybody want to look like us. The way, all the women want to look like y'all. But guess what? We try to look like them, though. What you got? We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how we're men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. 
IUIC, we deliver the truth. This is Bishop Nathaniel. The Israelites have been scattered across the four corners of the earth, as prophesied in Deuteronomy, the 20th chapter. Here in Israel, united in Christ, we need your help to recover the remnant of our people. Teach them the gospel. Please help us, support us, and join or donate to the Booster Club today. Shalom.